Hey there, this is Nick with a video specifically on managing construction projects within QuickBooks Online. Now, a lot of us might be afraid of doing this, not sure exactly how it works. We're gonna demystify this, simplify it for you, and show you how this is a really great tool, especially if you're currently working in spreadsheets. We need to get you into QuickBooks Online for managing your job costing. Now, we have a full course coming up here, Builder Books Academy 2.0, the second recording of that. If you wanna join the wait list, go ahead and do that and certainly be the first to get the discounts for that course, as well as a few downloads that we have that we'll mention as we go. But let's get on with this exact topic here. So managing projects within QuickBooks Online. First things first, it is not a full project management solution. We're talking finances only. So we're not managing our schedule in QuickBooks Online, selections, change orders, all that. There's third-party software that can do that. We have plenty of videos on that, specifically on Builder Trend, right? But we require QuickBooks Online Plus or Advanced to do this financial management tracking, all right? So certainly QuickBooks Online Plus or Advanced, if you're doing any kind of revenue over half a million dollars, you should be able to afford this software. Three steps to implement this. The first, we must add products and services. So that's the equivalent of cost codes. I'm gonna show you what that looks like, show you how to add those. And we have a download available for you if you wanna check that out. Second, we start using customer and projects. We wanna be able to use the project portal the way that QuickBooks is set up, it's a customer, then it's a project. And we want to categorize all project-related transactions to that project, right? I'm going to show you exactly how that works within QuickBooks itself. So let's get after it here. I got my set of books. First things first with products and services. So what are products and services? How are those set up? So products and services are simply categories to which we're going to track every single expense. So this is not your chart of accounts. This is more specific than your chart of accounts. This can be a list of 20, 50, as I'm demonstrating right here, potentially 200 items, depending on what your business is, how it's set up, how detailed do you do your budgeting, your estimating, that's how detailed you should do your job costing categories as well. They should be a one for one. So if you're estimating to a level of specificity that matches something like I'm showing here, that's the level of specificity you wanna to add to your cost codes within QuickBooks Online. Doesn't have to be like that, could be a little bit simpler, really depends on your reporting needs as I'm showing here. You can download this file, um, for free if you want to grab that go ahead now these job costing categories these products and services these mirror directly if we're using third-party software that's not what this video is about but if we were using something like builder trend they're going to map over directly right so how do these show up how do, how do we get to these we go to our gear icon here we do products and services this is where we're going to add that list and very specifically when we add that list we add a category we certainly can make use of a numbering system so that things are sorted in the right way. When we add that list, we definitely want to ensure that we are mapping this product or service, this cost code to a very specific account within the chart of accounts. So this gives us kind of the best of both worlds in that I can grab a certain level of specificity and detail in the job code here, the cost code here, but it goes to a specific, more general expense account. All right, so we're getting that there. So that's step one. Step two is we wanna make use of customers and projects. And that's gonna kinda of happen naturally, but basically that allows us to use the projects tab over here, okay? So if I click into my projects, I've got plenty of sample detail that I can show you here. We got some projects going on. These are really sub-customers, okay? So if we look into the project itself, this is a sub-customer of Wade Strafford. So Wade Strafford is my customer, 4959 Sherry is my project, okay? And it's only when we have those two things, products and services and projects, now we can start actually tracking expenses to those specific categories. So within your bank feed or manually or from Builder Trend, we're gonna have transactions come in. And as those transactions come in, we wanna take them and not use category here, but instead use product or service. And here indicate that this is framing material, okay? Floor framing material and specifically a project as well, okay? I'm gonna leave that one blank and go to my reporting here. So now when we think about actually tracking the project, it's really simple. We set up job codes, cost codes, we set up projects, and then all we do is we track every transaction. Sorry, invoice that goes out, every expense that gets incurred, we track it to that product and service, we track it to that project, and QuickBooks gives us this super nice, neat project management portal here, right? Now I say project management. Notice there's no schedule here, there's no to-dos, there's none of that. We're managing the financials of the project very specifically. So I'm getting this nice little look here about 
what projects I have going on. I can drill down into them. Uh, for example, 129 Mortis, I can drill down into it and see a little bit more detail. Here's my revenue, here are my costs. Now, we have a couple different ways of tracking costs. One is the expenses, the transactions that we are incurring, the swiping of the credit card, the paying of bills. That's going to show up as cost of goods sold. Construction materials and subcontractors are the categories that I've established. You could have one, you could have five. You don't want to have 100 here. You want to keep it relatively simple, okay? Just a few, because again, we have the detail. I'm going to show you the detail in a second of the products and services that's really useful. That's going to show up here. And then if you would like, you can also bring in hourly time. Some of you have internal resources like I have here. We set up our employees with an hourly job cost, not necessarily what we pay them in payroll, okay, but a job cost. And if we're using time tracking here, or if we're bringing in our time tracking from an external software, those hourly costs get calculated here. So there's my income, my costs, my profit for this project. Currently, I have no open invoices, no overdue invoices at the moment. We can take this project and now kind of dive into some project reports, right? So I can look at project profitability, and that's just a P&L specifically for this project, right? So there it is right there. And it's when I drill down, if I really want to see how much am I spending on certain categories, I could drill down into, say, my cost of goods sold, drill down into it, click into it, and get some detail here. All right, instead of me showing it by, you know, just account, construction materials, subcontractors, I can group by product slash service, run that report, and I'm gaining quite a bit of clarity on what I'm spending in various different categories, okay? So notice we're kind of getting the best of both worlds. See how tight my profit and loss was? Construction materials, subcontractor costs, you know, two categories. My P&L looks nice and tight, nice and neat, but I have the detail if I need it here. And this can be as far as we take it, meaning I get the report I need within QuickBooks, this looks great, but if I need to do some budgeting, I can maybe pull it out to some kind of external data source or I can uh, connect it with something like Builder Trend where I can really compare budget versus actual. QuickBooks Online Advanced, you should be able to do that as well there. I, I don't really demo in advance, at least not yet. It seems to be above most everybody's uh, willingness to pay. So at the time being, I'm not even demoing in it, but it does have that capability. So we have some really cool reports for our projects there, right? Um, let me also show you, so I, I love to just go into the projects and just see my profitability kind of like this, and then we dive into them to see a little bit more detail. Let me dive into this one, and um, we can look at our transactions, we can look at our time activity as well. Uh, we have our project reports, we can do time activity by week, by month, etc. Um, project details, attachments, you can like attach documents and stuff here. Again, I'm using I'm using Builder Trend for it um, for everything else. This is really specifically like the financials of the project. Let me show you another report. Most of the reports kind of exist just right here within. We get into the project, we do it that way. Uh, but QuickBooks gave us a, a new standard report, relatively new. If I go to my standard reports under projects, project profitability summary. This is kind of a cool one that we could we could bring up. I've already customized that, so I'm gonna bring up a customized version of that. So my project profitability summary here. Uh, what's neat about the modern view of projects, I can, I can outline a bunch of the projects right here, income, cost of goods sold, profit, profit margin, and I can sort by this as well. So that's kind of useful. And we have a few other general options. It honestly doesn't give me as much as I want. I would love to see potentially like um, some more columns here, maybe like start date, end date would be useful. I think this is new, <laughs> they're just kind of um, getting going with it, but decent decent report, okay? Um, and I'm currently on just in-progress uh, projects here. So you can see that we can do it, right? We can certainly manage the financials of our projects within QuickBooks Online. And I'm gonna be honest with you, this should be your, your really first step here to get out of spreadsheets, is to get into QuickBooks Online, be able to create some views like this where I can understand income, and expenses by project, profitability by project. That is your starting point. And then when you master that, once you're at that point, you can start exploring whether external software makes sense. I'm a huge Builder Trend fan. I think that any builder that is getting you know above the $1 million mark should really be on a project management platform. I think Builder Trend is the best currently. Uh, and I have plenty of videos out there on that. You can check those out for sure. But I think you start here and really get a handle on this because when you connect to something like Builder Trend, you're going to want to have this locked in. You're going to want to have your projects established, your cost codes established. You don't want to be starting from scratch at that point. So definitely lock in with QuickBooks Online first and then take that next step. If this is interesting to you, I think you're going to really find our course, Builder Books Academy, 
really, really useful. So certainly sign up for the wait list. If it's already launched, then go ahead and sign up. We have a YouTube code as well for you. Reach out if you have any questions at all, and I'd love to hear what videos you wanna see next. Put those in the comments. I'm constantly monitoring it. I'll see you on the next lesson.